Okay, so we got some news from the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Miles Garrett has been placed on the reserve slash COVID-19 list and will not be playing this Sunday against the Eagles, which is a very big deal. Um, he didn't report to practice on Wednesday after reporting not feeling well, and the team announced earlier this week that a player tested positive for COVID-19 um, and that zero high-risk contacts have been identified. Uh, this was written by Jake Trotter, for, uh, ESPN staff writer. Uh, Mario, man, uh, this is a big deal for the. This is a big deal for the Browns. They need this guy on defense, and now that he's not there, you know the tides have shifted for them. What do you think, man? Yeah, this this is a big, big issue right here. I mean, um, you know, Miles Garrett. I mean, obviously, you could see how big of an impact he is on that defense. You know, uh, he was at he he when he uh when he got suspended indefinitely in that Pittsburgh game. You could see how that defense was falling apart. And when he came back, you see how they were kind of getting a little bit of momentum back. And so um, I believe the Browns are playing the Eagles. So all they got, yeah. so like I said, when it came, like, just like I said with the Panthers and everything, it's just about surviving, you know? Like, you just survive the Eagles, and he'll be back probably the next week. Yeah. So, like, I mean, it doesn't say he's positive. It says he's placed on the reserve. It says somebody else was positive, and he was in – he was probably – most likely he was in close contact with, and that's how he got in the reserve. So – with that being said, you know, I mean, I'm hoping that he has a speedy recovery. You know, we say this with everybody who gets COVID, you know, because yeah, everybody, everybody's body reacts different to it. That's why we always say that. But, um, you know, my honestly, they're playing the Eagles, which is a good thing because the Eagles aren't really that good this year. So all Cleveland's got to do is get back, get by the Eagles, you know, and a lot of them say like record doesn't matter, you know, because everybody's talented. And that's absolutely true. But all they got to do is get past the Eagles, survive this game, and then – Miles Garrett should be back for the next one. And so that being said, we're going to actually see how big of a factor he is. And I don't think this game – and I don't know if this game is going to actually prove it, though, because, like, the Eagles is all, the Eagles are all right. You know, they're not that great. I could see if they were playing, like – um, Steelers. Trying to think. Like, not even the Steelers, because the Steelers are just, I think, better than them this year. And same thing with the Ravens. But if they were to play, like, the Bengals – which is games like where they're really close, like the Bengals are really close to beating them both times. Yeah. And like Miles Garrett didn't play one of those games and you play the other ones, then you can kind of pick it apart, you know? Like yeah, how right. you can kind of pick it apart. But Miles Garrett is such a big part of this defense. You know, he's obviously one of the best defenders in the league, in my opinion. Um, I think he's one definitely one of them defensive linemen who you're you kind of fair. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like there's JJ Watt, there's Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack, um, you know, Daniel Hunter when he's healthy is a big one. Uh, TJ Watt, and he is def and Miles Garrett is definitely one of them. Um, so with that being said, this is a tough loss for them, you know. And I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. But honestly, while he's gone, Cleveland's just the only thing they have to do is survive. Is survive in Philly? That's it. Probably survive. Okay. Absolutely. First of all, before I say anything, you know, obviously, best uh, uh, hope, hope Miles Garrett gets well. You know, hopefully he's not too sick and he can get back and doing his thing. But I'll say this. You know, I get it's the Eagles and the entire NFC East is absolutely terrible. We all know this, but someone's going to come out there to, as a winner. And the Eagles are playing like that uh, supposed winner. Uh, but I will say this, the Eagles are not a great team. You're absolutely right about that. Any, anybody with a brain knows that the Eagles are not playing like a great team right now, despite them being an NFC East uh, uh, leader. With that said, though, they do have a game to win here. And 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 I said it in football, a and in football, given that you play 16 games a year, every single game you play matters, no matter who you're facing, even if you're facing the and 16 Lions or whoever, every game you play matters. And honestly, I think if Miles Garrett did, was going to be playing on Sunday, I think this would be a blowout because, I mean, we're not necessarily a big blowout, but like, you know what I mean? The, the, you know, like you said, you know, when Miles Garrett is there, the, the, the defense has a big momentum. Well, I can kind of see this going down to the wire because now that they lost that big piece on defense, you know, the tides are going to – the tides are going to turn. I'm, it's not going to – the tides aren't going to necessarily turn in the Eagles' favor. I think they'll still, still be in the Browns' favor. But the tides did turn, just not to any – but just, just not to a different favor. But I just think with Miles Garrett gone, you know, that's, that's – a like you said, it's a big deal. And, and like you said, all the Eagles – all the – not the Eagles, not, all the Browns need to do is survive. That's really what it comes down to. Right, I absolutely agree. Again, wishing for a speedy recovery yeah. from him, and exciting player, exciting defensive player to watch. And I hope he can come back and have a great season. Absolutely.